Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Midnight Man and welcome back to another tutorial! Woo! Today I'm showing you guys another way you can get intros for your YouTube channel. I got a couple sites to show you here so you want to stay tuned so you can see them all. So let's flow into it. Why don't we? First site I got here is called renderforest.com. It's a pretty unique site. It has a bunch of different things you can do on the site. So if you want to create intros for this site, you want to start at the main page that you get landed to and then go to video templates. After you do that, you're going to be brought to this page and you're going to see all these different videos that you can edit for yourself. And it's pretty cool. There's a bunch of different options. If you go all the way down to the page, you can see that there's more that you can go to. You can go to the second page here and then you have a bunch more options you can choose from to edit. So for these demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose a random clip here. I don't know which one I want to choose. I want to make sure it's a cool one. I got all the way to the third page. You got Father's Day stuff, Christmas stuff. Look like I saw some Valentine stuff up in there. Like, yeah, there it is. Wow, there's a list a lot here. They have so many intros here. You can pick a specific type of intro depending on an occasion. All right, so here's one flat geometric logo reveal. Let's do that one. That one seems pretty cool. I already have an account with this, so you can either make an account on this site or you can log in with Facebook, which seems to be the easiest option. If you're not sure you're going to like this intro, you can select to preview it like I'm doing right now. And um, I mean, that's not bad. So let's click create. And now we're brought to this page, which is the edit project. So what's cool about this site is that you can pick your own logo that you have, whether it be YouTube or your company or it doesn't matter. You put it on this site and it actually transforms an intro with your logo in it, which I haven't seen a lot of websites be able to do with intros. So I'm going to find my image. I'm going to upload. And here it is. Logos, midnight logo. That's my, my logo for my channel. It puts it in. And it's the PNG file. I really recommend using a PNG file because it'll be transparent if you uh, have edited your logo correctly through Photoshop. Insert the file and we're going to save it. And then we have some text at the bottom here and we can just do youtube.com slash, I don't know, um, I don't know, Midnight Man, even though that's not the URL, sadly. It's Magic Crayon, but YouTube won't let me change it. So now you can go to Choose Color, which is the second option here. You can choose all the different types of options here for colors. We can add some music. I personally never like the music that's offered to me through intro websites, so I just kind of find my own. But if you want music, you can add it just down here, clicking that plus button. Once you got your song, go to four for preview and click on the preview button. All right, guys, that didn't take long at all. It took about a minute. And now we have a preview for our intro. We can click on it, see what it looks like. Okay, got the geometric shapes going. Oh, my logo just swished in there, like epically. That was awesome. And once you're happy with that product, you can go down and then click the download button and it'll save to your computer now. Now, this is kind of a problem, obviously. You see the big watermark over your intro. Yes, that kind of sucks. So um, so if you really don't like watermarks over your intros, you're going to have to pay out for it. This is kind of a site for people who have money if you want to spend it on an intro. So if it's free, you're going to get standard definition and 360p quality with a watermark. It's going to look not so great. Most people now use a 1080p at least. Now, if you just want the standard definition video without the watermark, it's going to be $10. And then if you want it 720p, $20. And then 1080p's is $30. So it, it's kind of it's kind of steep just for a seven second intro. Personally, I don't think it's really worth it. But if you find it worth it to have your logo up in your intro, then maybe it is worth it for you. This site also has the option of a subscription plan. So you have to pay a certain amount of money a month or a year just to get uh, the, the intros that you want without the watermarks at a high quality. $10,000? that $10,000? $10,000? That's quite a bit of money. Just an FYI, I wasn't paid by RenderForest to make this video. I'm just showing you guys that there is additional platforms out there you can make intros with, but they may cost you. It's just, it's just an educational thing. I'm not being paid. I'm not trying to be a sellout. Why are you guys telling me this? All right, the second site here I have for you is called Panzoid.com, and this one's probably one of the best I've found so far. It is totally free, and you get to edit the clips the intros yourself. So they already have a few featured intros that you can click on. You can click more creations to get even more options of intros that you can pick from, show more. There's tons here, guys, that you can get. And they even have some outros you can create for your videos. So that one with the colors earlier was really standing out to me. So I'm gonna go on and click on this one to edit. And if you scroll down a bit here, this guy Tavio, he has additional 
templates of intros that you can play with if you want. But for the example, once you find the one you want to edit, you're going to want to click Open in Clip Maker. So as you can see, this looks like a Cinema 4D looking effect for a video editor, but it's going to be really simple just to put in your name. What you want to do is click on this three bar icon up here, and that'll swing out all these different options. So what you're going to want to click on now is Objects. And right up here at the top, you can see the text, which is name, and we want to put in our channel name. Go down here, take out the 3D text, just name, and then we're going to want to put in our name, which is Midnight Man. It's a little sluggish right now on my computer. Maybe it's just on my end. And we're going to do the same for the second text icon here. Don't forget to click Enter. I forgot to do that for the top one, so I'm going to go back and put in my channel name and press enter so that that makes sure it goes through before you render it out you can actually test your video out by clicking this play button here and that'll actually play through it as you can see like look at that that looks epic Woo! it's giving me a seizures also if you're not happy with the video you can just go back to this folder and then you can click on additional options here to uh for videos that you can edit so if you're all done you can go down here to the download icon i'm gonna keep my mode at balanced format um, uh, I guess we're just going to stick with MKV because they don't have MP4. I'll get into how to convert that in a second. And then we're just going to start the render process. And this might take about uh, four to five minutes. All right, guys. So now at this point, we have the file rendered out. And now we can just click on this button, download your video. And then you should see it pop up down at the bottom here. So now I have my intro downloaded. I can play it if I so please. So it's it's over here on the side here. Yeah, as you can see. But uh, personally, I don't like working in .mkv files. It's just not, it's not the most comfortable file to be working in. So what I do next is I go to onlinevideoconverter.com. It's a really good video conversion site. And I just go to convert a video or audio file. And then what I can do is I can just drag this file on in, like so. <laughs> All right, so now once your file is done getting ready for conversion, you can select your format. We're gonna go and choose MP4, and then we're gonna start the conversion process. All right, and there we go, it's done. We can download the file just easy like that. You can see it at the bottom here. All right, so now I got my files in the same place. Let's see if this is working. Oh man, that's trippy. And it's saved in 1080p, which is awesome and just what we need. So yeah guys, that's the gist of this tutorial. Hopefully it helped you out. If I were to recommend one of the sites over the other, I think I would go with Panzoid because at least it's free. You get to edit it pretty quickly and it outputs in 1080p quality. You just have to convert it, but you save what thousands of dollars. It's just kind of expensive to pay. 20 30 dollars just for a 1080p quality intro it just doesn't make much sense to me so real quick as an example here's what i was able to come up with in render forest no i really wasn't gonna pay to have those watermarks removed or try to have them removed myself Nah. And last but not least, we have Panzoid intro examples. Roll it. Isn't that easy? You got intros just like that if you need one. Simple. Simplicity. All right, anyways, guys, I'm going to... There is a blizzard outside my room right now. You guys want to see this? Let me show you. It's just like wild outside right now. Look at this. It's literally a blizzard outside. A blizzard. All this snow. It's actually sticking to the ground. Should I go outside and... Uh... Come on. What the dog? You happy? Get out of here. Get out of here. You didn't pay your rent. You didn't pay your rent. Get out. All right, that's enough fun in the snow today. I know I kind of got off track in this video, but hopefully you guys got something out of it and learned how to make some cool dope intros. And uh, if it did, leave a thumbs up on this video. It helps me out. And I actually did a part one to this a while back, so check it out. It's here down below. Also subscribe if like if you have. Where show? Where?
Here? Say what? What? It's gonna be here. Here? It's, it's right gonna, here. It's gonna be right here. Okay. Channel links. This is a channel link and this is a video link. 